So there you have it. That's my review of the Shearwater Peregrine. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't tell you anything you couldn't read from their website. What are you doing? I'm reviewing the Shearwater Peregrine. Well, have you dived it? Well, no, I, I just got it yesterday. It, it, it's new out. So you don't know how it dives? Well, no, not yet, but... So how can you call this a video review? Well, I'm, I'm reviewing the specs. People can read the specs from the website. This is Divers Ready. When we review a piece of dive gear... We take the time to get it wet. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on and welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James. It is so great to see all your smiling faces out there in YouTube land. If you're new to our channel, make your next dive on our subscribe button and click that little bell icon because we make videos here at Divers Ready with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you a better scuba diver. This is the hotly anticipated Divers Ready review of the Shearwater Peregrine. And before we get into it, I want to say that this is not in any way sponsored. Yes, Shearwater did send me a Peregrine, initially on a loaner basis, and then I reached out to them and asked, hey, could I give this away to one of my viewers? So I am not receiving any financial compensation and I'm not keeping the computer. I'll give it away to one of you guys. Details at the end of this video for how to enter to win the Peregrine. But it's time for me to give you my thoughts on this computer. And why did it take me six weeks to get this video out to you guys. Now, I know in that introduction, I might be making fun of some other videos that are out there, what I call hands videos, which is a top-down shot of two hands holding and playing with the computer and, and reading the spec sheet. That's all fine and well and good, but they're not really telling you anything that you can't get from the Shearwater website. And if you're serious about spending money on a quality dive computer, you're gonna go to the website and read the specs for yourself anyway. So I don't think that those offer you a lot of value. What I prefer to do when I review dive gear is actually get it wet. And getting it wet takes time. I wanna take it on dives. And I've put about 24 dives, I think, on this Peregrine. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's up for the giveaway, but it's slightly used now. Sorry, not sorry. There are a lot of spec sheet read-off videos already out there, none better than the one done by Mark Evans, my friend at Scuba Diver Magazine, and I'll link his video up above there. My idea with this video is to pick up where Mark left off. He did the unboxing and the spec review. I'm gonna tell you what it's actually like to dive this computer. So, sections in this video coming up are five things I absolutely love about the Shearwater Peregrine. I'm gonna answer the question that so many of you have emailed, tweeted, Instagram commented, Facebook messaged to me, which is, is the Shearwater Peregrine suitable for light technical diving? I'm gonna weigh in on that. I'm gonna tell you some things that I don't really love about the Peregrine, and then I'm gonna tell you who I feel that this computer is best suited for. All of those chapters will be listed in the description of this video below with a timestamp so you can skip ahead if you only want to see a certain part. But let's dive into it now, starting with five things I love about the Shearwater Peregrine. The first thing I love about the Shearwater Peregrine is the build quality. Now, this comes as no surprise to me. I've been using Shearwater computers my entire professional career, and I've come to realize that Shearwater share my passion for over-engineering. They make tough, 
rugged pieces of gear that can take a beating and keep performing. And the Peregrine is no exception to that tradition. It feels solid, it feels tough, and it feels like you're spending money on a computer that's gonna last you a very, very long time. The body doesn't in any way collapse when you put pressure on it. It feels completely solid. The screen feels solid. There's no flex to it. The buttons are tough and over-engineered. Even the strap mounts on the little uh, toolkit that you get given to put the bolts together feel really solid and rugged. So that's number one, build quality. The second thing I love about the Shearwater Peregrine is the screen itself. The screen is the same screen they use on the Perdix and the same display, which is a thousand dollar dive computer. It is tack sharp, it is crystal clear, even in low light conditions like inside of a wreck. And it's customizable. So if, for example, you see a particular color range better than others, you can change the color of the display. In addition, all of the data is programmable, so you can see exactly the information that's important to you for your dive profile and nothing that isn't, and keep it as simple and as clear as possible. The third thing I love about the Shearwater Peregrine is the vibration alerts. And I wasn't sure that I was gonna love these, but to be honest, really good job, Shearwater. The vibration lasts just long enough to get your attention, but not so long that it becomes irritating. It's strong enough that you can feel it, obviously through a rash guard, but I even tested it through a five mil or a dry suit, and it's nice and pronounced and draws attention to information on your computer. I set two vibration alerts, one for maximum depth and one for a dive time, and both of them were on point and bring my attention to the computer. I'm like, okay, great, we're 30 minutes into the dive, fantastic. Clues me up. Really enjoyed that feature. Uh, and definitely preferred to over audible alarms. The fourth thing I love about the Shearwater Peregrine is the user interface. It's a two button scroll on one side, select on the other system that is so intuitive to use. So when you wanna switch between modes, when you wanna program your Nitrox, you're not scrolling through some complex labyrinth of menu options and this, that, and the other. It's really intuitive and really simple right out of the box. And that's another tradition with Shearwater computers. The Perdix is the same, the Petrel is the same. So well done for keeping that at the recreational level and not making this computer too complex and adding all these other kind of option buttons. One of the biggest issues when people buy a new dime computer is the time it takes for them to learn how to actually use it, how to program it. And the Shearwater Peregrine cuts that time right down because you can learn this in a couple of minutes and be intimately familiar with all the options and get set up to do your diving. The fifth thing I love about the Shearwater Peregrine, and this isn't really specific to the Peregrine, but just all Shearwater computers in general, is their customer service. Even with the guys on the back end that I'm dealing with to get this product out here and get this video made and to be able to do the giveaway, they're super responsive. They have a company culture of taking care of their customers. And that's one of the reasons they have such a strong brand recognition in the marketplace. I have no doubt whatsoever that if you invest in a Shearwater Peregrine, you're gonna be backed up by their legendary customer service system. So kudos to Shearwater for building this culture of taking care of the customers. It's really an important factor because, hey, sometimes things go wrong. It's a new product to market. There may be hiccups. I didn't experience any, but if there are, you know you're gonna be taken care of. And that for me is very valuable. At this juncture, I'd like to answer the question that I've been asked the most about the Shearwater Peregrine. Is the Shearwater Peregrine suitable for light technical diving? Now, let me get one thing clear straight away. Technical diving is like being pregnant or being dead. You either are or you aren't. There is no such thing as light technical diving. If you're going past your no decompression limits, that needs to be a planned, staged, event there is no light technical diving i'll do a little bit of deco okay that's still the technical dive let's get that out of the way straight away okay it's either technical diving 
or it's not. So let's cut that word light out because that's giving recreational divers permission to break the rules and that's not what technical diving is. Now, let me tell you why I'm not endorsing the Shearwater Peregrine for technical diving. Yes, I took on some technical diving. Obviously it doesn't have helium capabilities. So this was 130 to 150 foot range technical dive. Did it perform well? Yes. Can you put it in the three gas nitrox mode and program one of them as a deco gas and switch between the two? Yes. Did it get red and angry at me when I went past my no decompression limit? Yes. Did it calm down and realize, oh, okay, this guy must be doing a tech dive. Also, yes. The reason I'm not recommending you buy this as a technical diving computer is because it's not going to grow with you and there's very few technical divers i know that do advanced nitrox deco procedures entry level tech courses and stop there nearly everybody wants to go on to trimix so eventually you're going to have to get yourself a big boy technical dive computer so instead of spend the money twice just get a technical dive computer technical diving is not a cheap pursuit if you're trying to set, save 500 dollars on a dive computer between this one and this one. It's not the sport for you guys, I'm sorry, you know? Now, if you're a recreational diver who's stepping up to tech and you already own a Peregrine, will this work as a backup tech computer? Yes, I believe so, up until the point you get to Trimix. So here's what that progression would look like. You're a recreational diver, you've got a Shearwater Peregrine. You want to take your advanced nitrox deco procedures courses classes, you're going to have to buy a Perdix. That would be my recommendation. Now this becomes your backup. You dive advanced nitrox deco procedures, you do 25, 50 tech dives, get some experience under your belt, everything's rocking and rolling, and then you want to step up to Trimix, this becomes obsolete and you need to buy a second Perdix. So yeah, it will serve you in that sort of gray area, but would I recommend someone to buy it for technical diving? No, get a Perdix. The Perdix is literally the best dive computer that's ever been made. Okay, rant over. Who do I think the Shearwater Peregrine is best suited for? Well, to be honest, if you're an entry level recreational diver and you're looking to buy your first dive computer, you can't go wrong with the Shearwater Peregrine. For the reasons I've already mentioned, it's so intuitive and easy to use and the display is so clear and it tells you everything you need to know and nothing you don't, that it's gonna help you stay in the sport longer because you've got a piece of gear that you understand and is supporting you rather than something that's too complex and is intimidating you away from diving. Nobody wants that. If I was a recreational dive instructor and I only taught recreational level courses, I would absolutely invest in a sheer water. I would use it as a rental computer. I would give it to my students, absolutely. If you are diving multiple different gases, either in a side mount configuration and your gas mixes just happen to be a percent off with your nitrox fills, or perhaps you're a self-reliant diver and you're taking a different mix as a stage bottle, then obviously the ability to switch between two different gas blends is an advantage with the Peregrine. Apart from that, it's just a great, well-built computer. If you want the customer service, if you can look yourself in the face in the mirror and say, I'm never gonna get into technical diving, there's no reason for you not to buy the Shearwater. If you need AI, wait. Maybe there'll be an AI coming down the pipe. If you need a digital compass, wait. Maybe there'll be a digital compass down the pipe, but who knows? Okay, so let's talk about some of the limitations of this computer. The strap. I didn't particularly care for it. Personal preference, I know. It does come with bungees. I didn't want to set this up with bungees because I knew I was giving this computer away. However, I would rather have seen the elastic pinch clip system that you get with the Perdix or the Petrel. Again, a personal preference. We've talked about the spec limitations in the video I made on four computers under $500. We know there's no AI. We know there's no digital compass. The digital compass is a really big shame because the Shearwater digital compass is one of the few out there that's actually good and reliable and works. So really sad to not see the digital compass on this. And who knows? For the AI, when the Perdix came out, there was no air integration. And then 18 months later, we got the Perdix AI. Will we see a Shearwater Peregrine AI in 18 months or two years? The official quote from my guys at Shearwater was, time will tell. 
read into that whatever you like. But it does seem that Shearwater understand the way that technology is sold these days, where you introduce a basic model to the market first to peak interest, sell a whole bunch of those, and then you give options to the users to upgrade and get more features as time goes on. See also Apple, see GoPro for examples of how that model works. We'll see. Same thing with the Petrol. Petrol 1, no digital compass. Petrol 2, digital compass. The only other thing I didn't really care about with the Shearwater Peregrine was the buttons. These are the same buttons you find on Terek, and they have the same problems that those buttons do. They work, don't get me wrong, they work just fine, but they do have an annoying habit of forming salt crystals in there. So you have to give this computer a soak in warm water after every dive. If you just give it the standard sort of dunk rinse, that's not gonna cut it because you've gotta get water penetrating into the little cup that holds the buttons and be able to dissolve those salt crystals out of there. Otherwise what happens is you go to press the button next dive and it sticks in the in position. Happens with my friends who have Terex, happened to me with the Peregrine. So warm water soak after every dive gets those salt crystals out of there. And I just think that the buttons on the Perdix and the Petrel are a better design. Shearwater have very kindly agreed that I can give away this now slightly used Shearwater Peregrine to one of my lucky subscribers. I'm gonna throw some Miami technical diving and some divers ready swag into the prize package as well. If you would like to claim your chance to win this awesome recreational dive computer, the details for entering the contest are in the description of this video below. And if you can't see the description, if you're on a mobile device, you might have to click the little down arrow to expand it, which some people were having issues with with our watch giveaway last month. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you enjoyed this review, give it the old thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what you think you would best use the Shearwater Peregrine for. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready review of the Shearwater Peregrine, your video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.